gather around for pale music. Cheers for all black leaders. <laughs> Woo! Hey, so right now we in a spot with June Drama. AKA the motherfucking Bronx, y'all already know. Shout outs to Bank Road, we still moving. Shout outs to Pill. And for all y'all that don't know what Pill is, my son Perry A started the Pill movement. Pill stands for positive energy and love. That's what Pill stands for. That's what kind of music we doing. We doing Pill music, so get used to it. Be there. That's cool, positive energy and love. So where did the name June Drama come from? Drama? Well, June, June came from Junior. Like, I got my pops whole day. I got my pops whole day. Joseph Clyburn Junior. So, everybody used to call me Junior and shit. You know what I mean? I used to hate that shit. Like, yo, stop calling me that shit. Like, I don't know. It's like, when I got older and shit, I just cut this shit short. Like, I used to want to fight when niggas called me Junior. Like, I'm not a Junior no more. Like, I'm grown. Call me June. The drama that came with all the, you know, the little beef and all that here and there, getting into your little, you know what I mean? Rapping and everything and all that. So that's when drama came in at. And I put it together, June drama. Actually, my nigga Mac Neal, too, rest in peace. That was my manager and shit, rest in peace. He gave me that name. He gave a lot of niggas their name on the block. Like, like, that was me. That shit just fitted me. I ran with it. I'm like, yeah, like, like Where you from? You already know, Bronx, all day, I rep the Bronx hard. Bronx is the Sedato rappers right there. Whoa, too strong. How long you been rhyming? Say since what, like, 16, like, 16 years old, like, About 16, I've been nice, like, I'm, like, I tell these I'm nice, like, I tell it to your face, like, I'm nice, like, I'm better than you, like, I'm nice, like, I know I'm nice, like, like, niggas got it, bro. Why, why do you rhyme? Do you do it for hoping that you could get the fame and the, and the money, or you do it for the love of hip-hop? I do it for all. For all reasons, like, like I do, I do music because, like, music, like, I talk to, like, I talk to the beat, like, sometimes you don't have nobody to talk to, like, I like to talk to the beat, when you throw, like, on a certain beat on, I'm talking about something, I'm talking about it, I'm on that subject, you know what I mean, I might be letting some stress off on the paper, I might be letting off something that I've been through already, like, yeah, I mean, and I want people to hear it, but I do it for all. You who knows what you're gonna get out of this shit. You got so many niggas doing the same thing. Everybody rapping. Who's not rapping? Like, who's not rapping? Hoping to get their shit to that right person. Like, yo, I need to get my shit. This nigga here to do it. It's not even like a fade thing. Fade nigga was always a celebrity, but regardless of what, like, niggas gonna know me regardless. Like, everybody fuck with me. I'm a cool nigga. Yeah, I be, mean, but it's not even like a fame thing. Who knows what you're gonna get out of it? You can grind with this shit forever. That shit grind. And the same, the niggas is in the industry or whatever, like they, like they on, yeah. But it's like we still doing the same thing they doing. It's just on a lower level. You trying to get to the higher level. To, to where these niggas at. And, and, and be doing it. You know what I mean? But as far as my music, my music is like my stress reliever. You know what I mean? That's all I have to turn to. I done did everything else. As far as like, I did everything. Like, everything, like, any, whatever you're gonna think of, like, I did it. Like, I did it. Music keeps me out of trouble and shit like that. You know what I mean? It keeps me out of trouble. It keep me with something to do every day. My grind, that's my music. Everywhere. Y'all can check me on YouTube. I got videos, anything up there. Interviews, shows. Yeah, I mean, y'all see how they go on this grind. You can check for a nigga on Facebook, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. Um, 
Shout out to um, Stro Hustle. That's my cousin and shit. Stro crazy with the beats. Yeah, you know I mean, we got our own beats and shit. Niggas got their own sound. You know, we gotta hop on industry beats and shit. Like, we got our own sound, got our own music, and niggas is nice. Like, that's what I do. Oh. Why should people listen to June Drama? Why? Because I can give you all type of music. I'm not just one of them niggas that'll sit there and just be rapping about a whole bunch of shooting about bang bang bullshit. Fuck out of here. Like, niggas don't want to hear that all day. Like, I could do songs for your grandmas and get up and sh she could shingling to the joint. Y'all know the, y'all remember the shingling? Like, your grandmas could shingling to it. Like, you know? Like, got shit for the kids. You know what I mean? Your, your, your aunt, your pops, your moms. Your moms, 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 like, like it's, it's not like certain niggas, you just put them in a category like, yo, this nigga nice, like, son is nice, he's a nice mixtape nigga. Or like, yo, um, yo, this nigga hard as fuck, but everybody just know you to be hard. Like, I be, like, I be in orbit on niggas, like, we be in orbit, you know what I mean? I got my planet I be on, I tell everybody. What, what planet is that? The player that I be on, I be on Jupiter. You listen to my music, I say it a lot. Jupiter, I be on Jupiter, that's where I be at. When you hear me say rocket fuel, that's that bug. Jet fuel burning, that's that bug. Bring out, bring out, we call bring out. Bring out is like, that's like, like you know how, how you got the accessories to go with the outfit. Like we call bring out, bring out, like yo, you got your bring out? Like, or like for instance, this it might match with the yellow on my watch, or just this this little black bracelet right here matching with my shirt and my hat, or whatever. It's like accessories. You got your bring out, like it's shit to bring out the it's to bring out the outfit. Yeah, you know I mean the accessories. What else we got? Um, space boots. That's what we call sneakers and shit like that. Yeah, you know I mean um, what else? <laughs> oh, and when y'all hear that, ah, yeah, that's that beast mode right there. We started that. Beast mode, we did that. Like, that's us. Y'all already know what that is. That's beast mode. That's when niggas, that's when we get crazy with it. Like, just take it up there one time for you. Or you might just take a breather and do a pause right in the middle of the song. Like, ah, just pick the beat back up. You know what I mean? And just keep going. Like, y'all hear, hear that a lot in the, our songs. You know, and that's what that is. That's beast mode. Who's your inspiration? My inspiration? I could say Tupac. I used to listen to a lot of pop because, like, his music was, like, real, like, this nigga shit was real, like it was, it was like it was real revolutionary music, and it did. Boy knew what he was talking about. Like a lot of people think he used to just wow, but he knew what he was talking about with a lot of shit that's going on now. And they left a whole controversy behind his name. The pop got songs for everybody about anything and all that. Like, you see his, his, you see his archives. His archives is crazy. Nigga done made niggas moms and shit cry off the song. That bring this had a baby, that shit even still a classic. Like, he had, um, even, um, Letter to My Unborn Child. He's not even here. And wrote a song called Letter to My Unborn Child. Like, that's crazy. That's to the pop. I listen to, um, Joe Buttons. Yeah, you know I mean? A lot of people compare me to him. Compare me to him sometimes, you know what I mean? But I know I don't sound like a nigga. Um, but that's why I listen to I listen to um, Seagull, I, I fuck with Kiss. Oh, Sad Taylor. Gotta uh, fuck with Sad Taylor. Yeah, I did. Gotta fuck with Sad Taylor. Um, and yeah, that's like, that's like about it. And me and my niggas, like me, I listen to myself a lot. Like I'm one of them niggas, if you get in my car and shit, if you don't bring us something to listen to, all you gonna hear is me the whole all day. All you gonna hear is me, like, yeah, how much fucking music this nigga got C D after C D going and oh part one finished. Still driving, oh that finished though on part two. Yeah you know I mean like 
I listen to my music, I listen to my niggas. I, I try to block the other niggas out, cause once you start listening to these niggas so much, you start sounding like them, you pick up they shit and all that, like, you stick out from niggas. That's why we be in orbit. I'm working on the wave of the future right now. The Dutchers are stupid. Charlie Yo on there. Got Straw Hustle. Um, um, Sebastian. Um, Sebastian Mayhem. Who else is on there? Um, oh, my, my son Blaze. Who else? It's, it's a few niggas. And a lot of niggas I met on the internet. Those be the, the niggas be having shit. And they be thirsty to get their beats out. The niggas send niggas beats. They fuck with you on the internet. Fuck with niggas. Niggas will send you some shit. Some shit to jump on. Like a lot of these niggas sound the same. So I don't listen to them. I can't. I don't do it. I don't. Like, about flows. These flows. Flows. I master flows. Like, and I can get niggas whatever they want. I just did a battle with Kid Rock. Um, Kid Dallas. Kid whatever his name is from, um. Leave a hard TV. I just did that. And I did that just to do it. Like, I don't run around battling niggas and shit, but I got it in me. My dude, he was running. He like, yo, go in there, jump in there. I did it. I went in there. I went in. I think I did me. I'm not going to say it. Like, I feel I, I took that. Niggas was making little noises and shit, but you know how that shit go. People's getting all that. So, I, 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 I guarantee, like, on any given day, like, outside of that, like, I burn niggas, like, what are the type of things that you like to write about? Real life experience to boast because it's easy to write. It's not like you sit there and try to think of punch lies and metaphors and shit like that. That's where you be sitting there writing your joint and then you stuck in the middle like when it's there, you just, when it's real, the real life shit, all you're doing is it's there already. You went through it already, you know what it is. All you're doing is wearing it, putting it together, flowing it. Like, I said, like, it's the easiest shit to write. But, the, you know, the way niggas is on it, man. So you gotta be making all this weird fuck everything. I ain't gonna say niggas are dressing weird. He said it already, so elaborate. Like, dressing weird and shit. Niggas like Lou Wayne and these niggas like niggas is nice and shit, but the way they be dressing like it's it's fucking weird and it's like it's weird and it's what? crazy. You about to make a lot of people mad right now. It's, nah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy because you got our kids that growing up watching that shit. And I don't want my son dressing like that. This nigga pants be O D tight to wear like I don't know. I don't think a dude should wear their clothes that way, like Oh, it's it's 2011 though. We about to be in 2012, like new millennium. I, I, the millennium go better. I, my face <laughs> still not gonna get that type. Of nah, I could dig it. We be having OD. I had this picture that I was showing everybody on Facebook. I was like, yo, this shit make me crazy. I rapped this just as well before to now, but. Ain't no disrespect to the man or nothing. Yeah, I mean, but it's me. I speak my mind with it. I don't bite my tongue. This shit, I talk about right. If you could work with anybody in the industry right now, who would you choose to work with? It probably would be Wade because <laughs> I like how I like how I like how he jump around on the beat. That's what I like to do. Like I fuck with flows. I like Dre for that too. And Dre come up with some good songs. I like a lot of his songs. His beat selections be crazy. Sometimes Wayne, Wayne be here. Wayne always going though, regardless, right? But sometimes he, I don't even know what he be saying. Sometimes when certain things get sad, like that nigga was just in the booth, just gone, like. But nigga is nice. I got classics, he got wild classics. I fuck with Lil Wayne and shit. Still listen to whole. Got to. Shit. Wayne learned flows from whole, like, the wall. Because everybody picks shit up from that way. That's the Perry H, too. That's my nigga. You already know what it is. Shout out to the Cabido. Got Cabidi locked down. Yeah, I mean, like, whoever thought this nigga be doing Cabido.
poverty and shit. This nigga was always a funny nigga, like, man, this nigga be hoaxing and shit, just doing shit, like, funny off top, like, you know what I mean? This is cool. I'm working on the way to the future right now, so, yeah. What does that mean? What would that mean? Wave of the future. I feel like we got the wave of the future music. Like, we have the wave of the future music. That's how I feel. That's why I said get into it with a pill music. Positive energy and love. But the way you go have it sounded is like, it's not going to sound whack. Shit, niggas, niggas got flows. Like, niggas is nice. Like, shit going to sound loud. Black Leaves is crazy. It's not stupid. I love that song. What would you be doing if you weren't doing hip hop? What would I be doing? I don't know. Probably, you know, would I be working and shit? I'd work it all night. Like, I like to work this shit. Like, I'd like, be on my wrist. Forever? So, so I feel my shit is whack, bro. Like, even if somebody tells me and be like, yo, that shit is whack, I'm gonna still have to sit there and, like, really think about it and listen to this shit, man. Like, <laughs> bro, is my shit whack? Like, for real, do this shit sound whack? Like, right? I'll keep listening to it, and then I might come to the conclusion, like, fuck it, I can't fuck with this shit no more. It's just trash, I don't know. I might try one more time, but if I, I won't even let nobody hear it. I read that <laughs> shit to myself and just read this shit like, now this shit whack. I might just boil the paper up and be like, that's it, it's over. Like, fuck it. But then I might listen to it and be like, well, these niggas is bugging the fuck out. Like, they wild. The fuck is so crazy. Like, what? I don't know. I would do music for regardless of what. So I feel I can't do it no more. I said, you got things, bro. We got weeks with the committee. Like the team, shit. Like, we, we come to like we go. What's your favorite song that you bring? That I wrote? Mm hmm. Probably this joint called Do My Life, brother. That's on, um, that's on like my first first CD. Oh, mind you, hold on. Cause they bugging. What I did, I did the Bronx's back call one. No, not even before that, the first one, the Do My Life shit. I did the, um, Do My Life. After that, I did, um, Bronx's back call one. Did the Bronx's back call two. These are what? All my mixtapes. What's your favorite mixtape? Do you have my one? Favorite, my favorite one would, it would be Through My Life, the first CD I had before, that I did before I went to jail. Yeah. Why is that your favorite? Because that's when a lot of shit was going on in my life and shit. Like, a lot of shit. So I used to just talk, I talked about everything and that shit. Like, everything. Like how the niggas want to happen, I like, do it, but I like to just write real shit too. Just talk to the people. I, I just, I have to ask, what's, what's going on back there? I said, I said, do we? <laughs> how you, like, what was, what's good with that? You got it tied. I like it though, it's different. These right here and shit, like. <laughs> I've been wearing my shit like that for years, like, for years. Like, sometimes I used to wear, I used to wear my shit sideways, like, tied on this side. You know, the back part, hey, look, ain't nothing back there. But, you know, the part that hang right here, I used to wear it sideways, like this, tied. Like, so then I ain't gonna wear it like that no more. So, one day I was in the mirror and shit. Some way to do this shit. I was doing it mad different way.
ways. It was it wasn't looking right, so I'm like, nah, shit looks stupid. I'm trying out crazy shit like nah, this shit right. Like, then I did this shit. I was pulling it like this. I was just twisting it. I ain't know I was gonna do with this shit, but I kept twisting it. And then I was holding this shit this. I hold it for a little while, put one over the head. Nah, shit, tie this shit, bomb. Um, got this one, tied that one, boom, boom. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is groovy right here. Like, I like this a little bit. Right? But, I don't know, that's my look. That's, a lot of people be like, yo, yo, the dude. I don't know, I do it. Like, I wear it every day, don't need home without it. Can't do it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to say to the world? I'm the way to the future. Most of the picks of the haters, love and breathe down. Yeah, cruise through the hood with me. Webster Avenue started young, cold and heartless. Dealt with the hatred, drug sales, in and out of jail. People thought I wouldn't make it. Yeah.